But where exactly does all the Colorado River water go? Now we've already covered who is legally entitled to the water and how much in an earlier video. Here's a pie chart showing each state's allocation. Now let's clear the board and go through each state's real world use one by one. All the numbers I'm about to show you are based on publicly released data from the individual users of the river. Some were published directly, but most you have to dig a ways to find. And some require doing a little bit of math. Let's take a look. The state of California has two major canals, the All-American Canal and the Colorado River Aqueduct. Together, they pull 4.2 million acre feet per year. Add in some farms in the Palo Verde Valley and you get a real world grand total of 4.8 million acre feet. Next, we have Arizona. A conservative estimate puts them right at 2 million acre feet. But if you look at some of their larger water basin usage, they might be using as much as 3.3 million acre feet. Now we're on to Nevada and specifically Las Vegas. They're allotted 300,000 acre feet, but appear to only be using 246,000 acre feet, barely 1.5% of the river. While we're still in the lower basin, let's include Mexico with 1.5 million acre feet. And let's not forget about evaporation from Lake Mead and Lake Powell, which combined add up to about a million acre feet per year. Remember, this is only everything below Lee's Ferry. We got four more states to go. Now, these upper basin diversions and canals are much smaller and much harder to find reliable documentation. So we're simply going to use the Bureau of Reclamation records for these four states. Colorado uses 2.2 million, Utah 420,000, Wyoming just over a million, and New Mexico finishes it up with just over 400,000. For a grand total of 15,049,491 acre feet per year. Now on paper, this is almost perfectly hitting the legally defined limit of 16.5 million acre feet. So what's the problem? Like for part five. 